Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I've just done an unboxing, I did it before I went on the camera, I don't want to do the unboxing on the camera, for probably obvious reasons, I've had quite a few things sent to me from Pearl over in India, and I haven't had the best of experience with the quality of gear. Now the Flexi razor is a pretty good razor, I must admit it is a good razor, it's heavy, it's well built, but lacks that sort of finesse and fi quality of look and feel that you get from higher end razors, which for the price point is pretty good. Now, what they have sent me here is they have sent me the Pearl Slant Safety Razor with a stainless steel 316 l handle. Um, we'll get into that first. Now, the thing that made me laugh about this is right down here. Zero waste, plastic free. Brilliant, great idea. Came wrapped in that. Now, unless that's edible paper, um, bit stupid really, I don't quite get that, that was literally wrapped around this whole box. So plastic free, my arse. Now, once we get into this very, very tight box, there we go, this is what you get. Don't get me wrong, I love the packaging that you come with, I think Pearl's packaging is actually very, very good. I think it looks great, I think the fact that they give you lots of little booklets, mastering precision, uh, another little shaving guide, I mean, obviously it's not something I generally sort of need. Uh, what does it say? Always use the razor with the washer, which is attached to the bottom plate, else handle, else handle will not fit. There is the marking on the top cap and bottom plate, so always fit on the marking side, else cap and bottom will not fit properly. So, that's another thing I don't like about it. I've already opened these up and had a look, so you get what you get in here is you get a little pack of Willy's blades. These are actually a very, very good blade. You get a lovely little, you can never, ever have too many microfiber polishing cloths, in my opinion. <laughs> these things come in so handy. Lovely little sky blue polishing cloth. You get a little bag of two, four, five spare washers. You know, they put a lot of thought and effort into sort of things like this, but this is where these razors just don't quite cut the mustard for me. And it's the same across the board, so the razor it is well held and it's got a little sort of strap, so it's not going to be bobbing around and moving about too much. So this says it's the slant razor with a stainless steel handle. Right, so there is your razor, that is what you get. Now the handle itself is quite nice, although I don't know what it is about it, but it feels like I'm holding a big screw. It feels a little bit sort of, same again, not very well refined. Don't get me, I mean, the finish on it is, is really nice. I mean, this is lovely and finished off smooth. It's, it's well done. I mean, it doesn't. It looks like it might have been sandblasted to smooth it. I'm not 100% sure. But it just looks to me very, very industrial. It's got loads of grip. You know, these, these little gnarly bits here and here are very grippy. That's not so grippy and that's obviously super smooth there and there. So I'm just going to take this handle off now. So there is the handle on its own. I'm not quite sure how long it is. Um, I mean even just, in fact I can tell you right now, I am almost certain this is coated, anodized. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera. But you can see where it's sort of blistering there just at the entry point. Should tell me this is most likely anodized which is really just covering up all the blemishes, I would think. Which would then sort of... Yeah, so this is not actual raw stainless steel. Well, this is stainless steel, I believe. But it has been coated in a finish to make it look like it's a good finish. Probably not that fantastic if you take that anodizing off. Right, now we get into the head. It's got this little washer on here. It says you have to use the washer with it or the handle won't fit correctly, which I think is pretty poor if you want to make a slant. Now, the reason it doesn't fit very well I don't know whether you can see this, so that's this that's the head come on held sort of flat. You can see the screws at a slight angle, so it's not so much that the razor is a slant, so much as it's the handle that sits at a slant. So as far as I'm concerned, with a slant razor, the razor head should be flat on the bottom, the handle should screw on flat, and the top of the actual razor should be on a slant. And that, what that means is, naturally what, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try and hold, obviously hold the razor flat and put it down, but because of the shape of the head I'm just going to hold it flat on the side of my face like that. It removes the purpose of it being a slant. I don't, I don't get, 
Can't get my head around it, but it just makes sense to me that I am going to hold this on my head at a slant so that it defeats the purpose of having the slant. This, for me, should be flat. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Have I got this wrong? It just doesn't seem to be the right way to do this. The head should be shaped to be flat. It shouldn't be at an angle, the whole head. So what happens here is now your handle goes in at an angle and as you screw it squashes out all the the washer which looks shit. I, I think it looks really poor. I don't I don't like washers, I've never liked washers. Every razor that's ever come to me with a washer on it, the washer gets chucked in the bin. In fact Chris over at Carver recommends you don't use it with a washer for whatever reason. I don't think it would make much difference, but he doesn't recommend you use it. So firstly I'm not a fan of the washer and I'm not a fan of how it's sort of put together I, I just think I think the razor looks off it just looks th that handle of an angle and it's sitting it just I don't know it's been a while since I've held a, held a slant to be honest with you but it just doesn't quite do it for me right now this there's a lot of weight in this but I am pretty sure this is probably zinc alloy I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty certain it is and You've got your little pearl in bit there, which is quite nice for lining up your top cap. Top cap comes off, and you can see under there, pretty average finish on the coat. It's not the best finished. And as you can see on this side here, you probably, you probably see all these little lumps and bumps and stuff. It's just, I don't know, just feels a bit cheap, if I'm honest with you. Right now, let me let me throw a blade in here. Just get into my draw. What we got? What we got? What's that? What's that one? That's a tree. Let's go. In fact, let's just go with the willies because that's what they come with. I've got the willies all open. So willies blade comes double wrapped. Oh, this one. This one comes triple wrapped. Look at that. A bit. Two bits of paper over. <laughs> it's going to have two blades in it as well. Oh, never seen that before, look at that. Two full wraps on one blade. Right, the thing I like about these is from memory, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, no, there was wax, I didn't think there was wax on these, but there was quite a lot of it actually. There's heaps of it. See those big blobs of wax on there. Not that it matters too much. Right, so loading a slant, or loading any DE razor really, get your blade, pop on the top like so and you've got to line up your logo like that and then pop your handle on oh sorry pop your shitty washer on and away you go let's have a little look at once this is screwed down nice and tight what the blade's like I mean it doesn't look like a it's not like a very, very aggressive. There's another sort of blemish. Can you see that little, little tiny dent on the top cap there, just about there, on the top cap? You know, they're just, they're just shitty, mate. I, do, I can't. They're just annoying. Look at this side here, you can sort of see a little bit of the blade tab there, it's just very minimal. I can lightly touch it. But the rest of it is lovely, it's pretty smooth, the top cap and the, and the base, cap, base plate are relatively smooth, you can't see any edges, you can see that little bit of tab sticking out there. This side, what's the best way to show this? Sorry I am trying, it's just struggling to pick up the, for whatever light. I can't even re really show you because the, it's so shit, I can't even show you. Let's try it this way. You can see how much of that blade tab sticking out there. It's not actually sticking out, the base plate's actually covering it, but you can see, look, look at that cut off here, it doesn't even match up correctly. Really poorly finished. It's, yeah. Everything just looks rushed. Just looks like they went, yeah, let's give this a go and then made the bloody thing. 
So anyway, I'm not going to talk much more about it. I will give this a go. Um, it doesn't look too, too sort of scary. Do you know what? I'm not even sure I will give this a go. Look at that. Look at the blade. The blade exposure on that. Look how much blades down here and how little blades up here. Now I know it's a slant, but they are put absolutely easy. Look, where, where, where is the blade on this side? There's, there's hardly any blade on that side. It just... It's just shit. It's fucking shit. I can't... I can't... It's very, very frustrating. They're sending products. They know I'm going to, well, I've told them I'll be honest about it. They know I'm going to be honest. And yet they keep sending me anyway. It just doesn't make sense to me. They expect me to pick these products up and lie and go, oh, these are fantastic, beautiful products, amazing. Right, the Sleek from Pearl, Single Edge Razor. This is the new fixed model of it. Now this is made with, I don't think it does actually say it. This is all, I mean, same, same again, plastic free environment. Eco-friendly, 100% plastic-free saver. So this one comes with a little pack of blades, single-edge blades. You get a nice a green one, this one. There we go. So this one is not the blue. This one is a sort of mint green polishing cloth and then you have the razor. So there is the razor. Now I still have the stand for this razor from the original one, which I still have here, the original one that they sent to me. So just so we're on the same page, this is the original razor. This is what they sent me originally. When you take the top cap off, that's what you get. There's your blade and there's just, there's just nothing there holding that blade. So what happens is when you put the cap, top cap on and screw that bad boy down doesn't matter how tight I screw this if I get my nail I can push the blade up just shit <laughs> excuse my French but it is so that was the original so what they have done now hang on it there goes my 24 hour blood pressure monitor <laughs> Let's see what my blood pressure is like doing an unboxing on Indian products. It's going to be high in it. It's got to be high. <laughs> Welcome to another bit above with Chris. Where we check our blood pressure every 15 minutes. Oh, there it goes again. See that it's not looking good for Pearl. My blood pressure actually has been very, very good, so if this one's a bit high, then pills pissing me off. Still going. Yeah, it's fucking high. This pearls annoyed me. It's got my blood pressure up. <laughs> I've, I've been averaging about 120 over 80 since I've been using it. That was 144. Um, because I, I, it shit annoys me. When shit annoys me, the blood pressure goes up, no doubt. So what they've done now, they have brought out this revamped version of it. Now, I won't be using this one either. I'm just going to get that straight off the bat. And I'm hoping I can get this on the camera. So the difference is here. This is now, so I just took the top cap off. So what they have done is they've added these two little nod nodules here, one there and one here. Sorry. One here, just sticking out a little bit there and a little bit inside here. What that does, as you can quite clearly sh see, it's not something I really have to show you how it works, but it holds your blade. Yeah. So you can see those little nodules either side holding the blade, that stops the blade from sliding up. Brilliant, yeah? Oh, look at that. Can you see the smile on that blade? 
look at the gap over here and it's the exact same on the other side so what they've got now is they've got a razor that doesn't fit the blade and it's causing the blade to smile now they now have little notches on here just just a little sort of indentation just here see it? that little indentation there, one there and there's one on the other side now you can probably see on there that it just looks like it was rushed and cut It's the finish on it is awful absolutely dreadful finish it's not. It's had no care or attention put on it at all, as far as I'm concerned. And even the screw. I mean, look at the screw. Who would send that out? In fact, who would send it? Who would send this out? This is obviously what people are getting. But I certainly, if I was selling this product, I wouldn't be sending it out to people to review it for Christ's sake. I'd be sending out the best model I've got to try and get people to buy it based on a good review, you know, and then send out the shit ones. Um, that sounds terrible, but that is what companies do. Um, they send you out the good one. You review it, you think it's fantastic, um, and it's not, it's just shit. So here we are again, I don't know whether I'll be able to show you now, but what we've got now is the top cap on. Now, on the top of the blade, I can't even show you, that, but on, on the base of the top cap, where it should be running flush on the blade, it doesn't touch the blade at all. It does maybe at the back, but there is a gap all the way along the whole blade, so I can actually get my nail in there without pushing the blade down. There's actually a gap under here that I can get my nail in. Now underneath here again, I don't know whether I can get it on the camera. Okay, it's just not going to show up. What's happened here is that the top cap's blank, but see if I look at this. I don't even have a torch, oh, hang on a minute, let me see if I can use my Apple Watch. See if that will work. There it is, see it? The blade is still smiling like mad. So, I will not be using this because I do not trust a smiling blade. I think it's an absolute joke. I think in 2024 you should be making razors in far better quality of this. And if you're selling and replacing these with people, I don't care how good it shaves, I ain't using it. I'm not using it at all, I think it's cheap crap. And I think you're pulling the wool over people's eyes trying to sell stuff like this. Pill makes some pretty good products. The packaging is great, but just everything about this razor just annoys me. You know, you got your base plate. Oh, sorry, your, your stand. It's a big massive chunk of rubber on the bottom. It's not very well balanced. You've got this hole in the bottom. Now look at the size of that hole and look at the size of the post. Just wobbles around like mad. This, this stuff should be, should be snug. And then, I'll just show you this one as well, you've got a, this. Now this is a good razor, I do actually enjoy using this razor, and I think it's quite a nice looking razor. It's very much a Rex Ambassador sort of ripoff. Not that I've used, well, I've not used a Rex Ambassador, but I've held one. Very heavy razor, this one's brass, but it's been coated. There's your stand, skinny, tiny little stand with a big chunky bit of rubber, it doesn't even fit very well on the bottom. Looks horrible as well. Now, you put that razor in there, there's a bit of wiggle in the razor. But the problem with this is, there's no... There's, just If you just touch it, it falls over. So much weight on this, it's so top heavy. So I put this in a drawer, and when I slide the drawer shut, thankfully I've got soft closed drawers, but when I slide the drawer shut, sometimes it bloody falls over because there's just far too much weight for such a narrow base plate, a narrow base on the stand. So it's just a, it's just another little just another little thing that's quite annoying. You know, I don't know what's going on with Pearl. I don't know what they're trying to achieve, but they're making really inferior products here. They just don't I mean look at that. Look at the gap here. Yeah? There's no gap here, it's actually it's actually on top of the base the uh, base plate. Or the no, just on the top here as well. I don't know whether you can see you will be able to see actually all these little spots. These are all blemishes. These are all I mean this is supposed to be a finished razor. This is a product that would be getting sent out to people. Come on. It just looks, it just looks terrible. I don't know, Pearl, I'm just, I'm just not happy with it. I'm not a fan of it and I won't be reviewing it, I'm sorry. 
it's just not good enough. I think when you when you're competing against big companies in the world, you know, even Edwin Jagger, um, Razor Rock, you know, Razor Rock make fantastic razors, like amazing razors, amazing quality, high end stuff. But never ever look. Let's just. I'm not 100% sure how much these razors are. They're about $100, $100 or something, I think. They might even be less than $100 here in Australia. Razor Rock. This one's been polished. This is all stainless steel, CNC machined. It's made in Canada. It's absolutely stunning. It's perfect weight. The, the stand that comes with it is thick enough so that it doesn't fall over. It just matches. It's perfect. It's been well thought out. And it shears beautifully well. There are no blade alignment issues, there's no issues with it at all, it's perfect. You know, Carl, Christopher Bradley, oh, here's the Overlander. You know, aluminium. But there's not a single blemish on this razor, it's perfect. Now, I know 100% that in India, at this time, in this age, in 2024, they have got the ability and the capability and the machines over there to create quality products, yet, Pearl are here making very, very substandard products that, in my opinion, just, they're just taking the piss. They really are. And I can't really say it any better. You know? And there'll be people out there that love Pearl, I'm sure there are. There'll be people that think they're the, the, the dog's bollocks and they think they're amazing, but they're just not. They, they are they are an OK brand at an OK price. You know, I reviewed the soap recently. The soap was, was very poor. And the only thing I can see in here that's, that I know works well and are pretty good are these. You know, the washers work well because you can't really go wrong with a washer, a washer's a washer. I just don't, it's just not right. You compare this to a Razor Rock Wunderbar, which you pay a lot more money for a Wunderbar, but it's had the technology put into it, it's had the effort put into it. It was perfectly pre precisionly milled and machined. It was, it was a fantastic shaver, very aggressive, but it was brilliant. This, not so much. Now, I'm not, I can't use this because the blade alignment's out by miles. I can't use this because the blade smiles. This is out by miles and that one smiles and you want to your, your Indian rhyme for the day. It's just average pearl and I can't say anything else. These are, they're no good to me, they're scrap metal. The handle, I wouldn't even use the handle for anything else because I don't really like it to be honest. But. I feel that like you've wasted your time and your effort and your money sending me stuff. I really do. And if there's someone else out there that's used these and thinks, oh, these are fantastic, good on you, Mike, but I ain't using them because they are not good enough. They're really not good enough. It's a very poor effort, a slant, and a non-existent effort, a single-edge razor. Now, the leaf, the leaf twig, which I haven't used yet, makes this look like just child's play. It really is that simple and not a great, <laughs> not a great unboxing. Two new razors, neither will get used. Sorry, Pearl, but it's just the way it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a very brutal and honest review, to be honest. It's been a while since I've been able to do something like that because most products in the market are fantastic. Pearl have, have slipped up here. They've slipped up quite big, really, I think. And if I was getting these razors delivered, or if anyone watches my video and gets this razor delivered, that's got any of these issues, I'll be sending it back and get a refund because the they're, they're just not fit for shaving. It's just the reality of it. Anyway, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.